Point two, slipper a carrot, preferably in the shape of a famous person. <laughs> Here's a tribute. Oh, yes, and chuck in a mangle wurzel, too. This is Miss Melinda Messenger <laughs> as mangle wurzel. No. Now, if you can get her to sign one, you are on your way. Probably would have been better being signed by the man himself. Point three, get her interested in what's about to take place. OK, so how, I mean, how do these rituals work? Point four, lighten the moment with a delicious glass of fine wine. Not too young, heavy-bodied, with a slow pour. Let her anticipate the pleasure. Be honest with you here. Yes. It looks like sick. Point five. Pile it on. Buy her a hat. Birds, isn't it? No, no, no. They're just fellas. They're just fellas. Okay. Get her a necklace. Here, if you'd like to put this round. Oh, right. Okay. Oh, this. So this is getting into character here. Yes. Is this there. what they wear? Point six. Sprinkle in a few sweet nothings. Encourage physical contact. Oh, right, babe. Sorry, I don't Let know. me hold your sweet okay. for you. <laughs> Point seven. Serenade her with a never-ending song of love. A bobbin we go, a bobbin we go, with mangle and a chucker. OK. And then it finishes up with a bobbin we go, a bobbin we go. Point eight, put a bit of mystery into the relationship. Now, I should have a bucket somewhere so I can't cheat. And uh, also... And why does the bucket stop you from cheating exactly? Well, because then I can't see where you're coming from. Now, you have to put this between your knees. Ah, the old sheep's bladder filled with romantic potions trick is the key to this. Point nine, now play hide and seek. Here we go. Are you ready? A bobbin we go. Well, oh. yeah! Strike one! Oh. And point ten, move in for the kill. And in this case, flattery will get you everywhere. This is the bit Great. I'm looking forward to, is that having been successfully bobbed... Ooh, as you do. I get... You're very agile, though, aren't you? You very have to be. Yeah. I get... I get... <laughs> I get to keep the princess of fecundity, which is you. Oh, really? You have to that very softly, don't we? Oh, thank you. So the obvious question. Well, that's the obvious question. I know you've been you've been depping for Jack Doherty, and you did that as a recording after the show. Did you not smell a rat there at all? Do you know all? what? I just I thought it was very peculiar, but they were so clever because I said Fertility Week, National Fertility. I've never heard of this because this is how they sold it to me, and uh, I fell for it hook, line, and sinker. And this is the second one you've got. This is the second one. She's got a pair. <laughs> Now, on your telephone boat.